Go the butcher. What's your beef? <laughs> Sup? Sup, bro? I may have made a mistake already. Well, I see we have less money. <laughs> so there was a twenty thousand dollar contract for a for a plowing job, and I figured we could, you know, get like warmed up by doing a plowing job because we have two tractors. So if you go to Plows, the biggest one, I bought that for 75K because I was like, it's a $20,000 job. There's another job that brings us like 25 and we plow all the time. Okay, so what I did learn though with plowing, how's the cotton going by the way? I'm just arriving. Okay. This thing has a maximum speed of negative two miles an hour. Okay, all right. I had to reverse the whole way down. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, uh, I, I've learned for in the future to always plow diagonally to be thorough. No. I think so, yeah. No, they got the rows. You got the you got to get the little clippers around the rows. The little clippers around the rows? Yeah, so like the front has these prongs that stick off. And the plant rows have to go into the notch in order for it to harvest. I don't know, man. It seems, I mean, so sure so in terms of the in terms of the width I it was pointed out to me and I it seems to be accurate that if you go diagonal you cover 9 rows and if you go straight you cover 7 Oh really? Yeah. And now I'm like trying to get these flat spots and like some I of mean, the flat spots are straight and some of them are diagonal it's all over the place. I'm thinking that it might be true for the game. But for ah. realism's sake, I'm pretty sure the rows have to go straight. Gotcha. I'm going to come over. Can you uh, hop out of there for just a second? Aha! All right. Whoa! Oh, Whoa! my goodness. I'm Whoa! flying. Ah! <laughs> Whoa! How All did right. we do that? I don't know, but let's try again. Let's repeat the All same right. thing. I got in. I okay. hit E. I did nothing. And then you tabbed in. Yep, and then I got out, and then... Oh, I jumped when you did that. Wait, you jumped? Uh -huh. Hey there. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> Are you going up too? Yeah, I'm in so you're like inside of me. Whoa, we're like super jumping. Ew. I can see your hand. Crouch Dude, real quick. look at the horizon. Oh, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. No, Harry, don't look at the light. <laughs> I can't help it. It's so beautiful. What? How do we get down? Oh god! Oh, I moved. I hit moved. the ceiling. Land oh. on the truck. Oh, ah. that, that was soft. Soft. Like Man, that. I got some good ankles. Wow. So we. It's good to know if a bear ever shows up that we know how to escape. All right, but what I wanted to do is like kind of do you know like the important part of the show where I say what we're gonna do here. This for full background is like the project we've been building up towards. We did grass. And we got, we, we learned some lessons. Then we chopped trees. And now this is a field that we purchased. It was already planted. Now we're on the cotton. And you, what, what are you looking for over there? I'm testing the cotton to see if it's ripe. All right. According to your tests that I can see on it's my good. screen, it's, yeah, we've got a yield bonus of 83%, whatever that means. All right. So did you try this thing yet? Why does it say needs plowing? <laughs> yeah, it said that, but I'm not going to plow a fully grown cotton field. I don't think we need to. No. That would be a disaster. Yeah, I'm going to test to see what the contract's at. Okay, so the AI worker on the other side's fine. You um, you go ahead and you, you get started there. I'm going to drive over with the truck, actually. Oh. So are we going to need something to pick that stuff up with the cotton? Or does that tran that doesn't transport as well, right? I am at 8%. I'm assuming it will spit something out when I get to 100. Okay. Well, I'll but be, I I'll be right there. We'll find out. Okay. So yeah, it's all picking all that cotton off. Hey, you could plow behind me. With what? The plow that we own. Mm, am I supposed? I think we're supposed to plow it before we like. I'm not sure we're supposed to plow. I think that it, you're. 
because we bought a field that wasn't plowed before they planted, it says that, but I think that's a trap. Okay. I think... But I mean, we already... Once we pick this, you know, these plants are useless. Well, I'm being told that I might need to go get a uh, transport vehicle. What's your percentage at? Uh, 13%. Oh, wow. So that, that boy fills up... That fills up fast. Dang. Uh, maybe 14%. All right. At this rate, you can you can carry it back. Okay, so I'm being told I need a module four by lizard to load them onto the pickup. Right. Oh my goodness, who is this person, this viewer that we needed last time? <laughs> it's the this same, is the champion we all needed. It's the same person who told me to get the extension for the previous job that wasn't uh, necessary. Okay. Oh! oh! My truck's upside down. Trust but verify. I think I broke a rib, but we're fine. Wow, that's the worst you, accident I've ever had. Are you mobile? Are you okay? Uh, I think so. I, you don't need ribs to be a farmer. Unless it's barbecue ribs. Dude, this cotton machine is amazing. When you get to the end, you know, to do a U-turn, the back wheels turn, so you do, like, this perfect turn to, like, go back the other direction. Here, get out for me, I, and we'll do the same thing as last time, and I'll get an aerial view. All right, I'm getting out. All right. Oh, if you move, I don't fly anymore. Oh. Sad times. <laughs> we're, we're together, then. All right, well, we'll anyway. have to test at some point to see how high we get can get. Get in. Okay. Get in and make the corner. Finish plowing. Um, all right, I'm in. Stop. Yeah, drive forwards. Well, I got to turn it on, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It must have turned off by itself. Okay. And then turn it off. Well, I guess you don't have to. And then crank the wheel all the way to the right. Whoa. Isn't that cool? Wow, that is wheel very efficient. Yeah, no K-turns. This is this is a dream. I'm so glad we're doing cotton. Yeah. Because I don't do K-turns anyways, so. Nice. All right, well, hey, um, if you want to grab the truck. Um, you mean the tractor and the trailer? Yeah, there's a red trailer um, that is at the shop, and we got to oh, bring it over with the truck. Oh, we for that? Yeah, you're right. Uh, because we need the tractor probably for whatever we load with. So I'll bring the truck. Yeah, bring it. I think just the truck, because I think this thing should be able to spit out the bales onto the truck. I'm hoping so, anyway. Well, that sounds cool. What I said or something else you saw? Yeah, I didn't know you could, like, spit it out. I was thinking it was going to lay in the field. Yeah, I know. We had bad experiences. <laughs> oh, my goodness, man. This... Yeah, the contract's at 94%. All right, so the cotton is currently being AI'd. We'll keep tabs. No, no, no. I'll go take care of the discipline. You don't have to worry about that. Oh, okay, okay. Go ahead, then. Keep doing your thing. I'm going to deliver the trailer to the edge of the field. I'll go... I'll go take care of business. I love cotton so far, though. I know we're going to run into some type of issue, but I love cotton. Also, you are very close to the edge of the cotton field with that truck. Oh, sorry. If you could possibly relocate. <laughs> just like, you know, drive around the corner. Just just go up and make a right. That would be really helpful. Thanks. That's perfect. I wonder how big these bales are. Oh man, you're right. That turn is very satisfying. <laughs> there we go. 
when I wonder if it's realistic, season. like, if we put cotton in that field over and over again, if it gets worse. Ooh, true. We need to, like, replenish the nutrients with, like, a different crop. Well, there are a lot of settings on, like, do you want weeds to be a thing? Do you want uh, rocks to be a thing? Like, there's a lot of different settings. I have pretty much everything on to be realistic. So I imagine maybe we need to rotate the type of crops we I don't know. I'm glad, like, breakdowns aren't realistic. Yeah, right? Like, you imagine if it was just like, oh, your tractor needs a new air filter. <laughs> like, crap. Something, something stupid. Uh. <laughs> your car, your truck battery died. You need to uh, trickle charge it for a day. You have to you have to wait for a local farmer to come jump your truck. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even gas, thank thankfully gas isn't realistic because we've used a lot of machines and we have yet to actually have to refill gas. But yeah, maybe like I've been introducing things as like this is my cotton field and this is my canola field, but maybe it'll just rotate. I um I went to a NFL game once for work and so it was like a box seat and it was the box right next to like NFL Fox like or the the people who do commentating mm -hmm. and it was a glass wall in between so I could actually watch like how they like what they do wow and it would blow your mind I thought they had all this technology you know it would like tell them like stats to talk about like you know how they're always like oh you know on tuesdays when the moon's full this guy runs really well or whatever <laughs> i thought that was all computerized the sportscaster dudes they like they don't even have like a dedicated seat they like bring these like walmart folding tables and unfold them and the the guys sit there uh, up against the front of the glass watching the game and then there's this like whole hubbub of like young interns running around behind them with three by five index cards just tossing them data yeah and they just like lay them out in front like there's a whole i don't know like a dozen of these index cards sitting out on the table in front of them and if i don't i, I wasn't listening to their announcing but once in a while they would like pick up the index card and like pass it back to one of the workers and they would like file it away so it's like they're finding stats and writing them down just in case they, like, need to reference them. Mm -hmm. It was really interesting. Well, so I, you know, you would think they do it through the earpiece, but my guess is, like, a lot of those guys have been doing it for so long that they probably yeah. don't, like, change at all. Or computers. Or computers. Oh, yeah, that and, like, I will say that, like, now I haven't actually had this happen with index cards, but... Uh, last year in the castle of Heidelberg, Germany, doing it again in like four weeks was my first time where it was like a professional setup with like earpieces. Um, oh. And it's really, um, really tough to be talking and doing your thing and then hear, Tristan, you need to talk about this right now. Or, you know, we're going to send it to break guys. You know, like those to be talking and hearing that at the same time could be, it was tough to get used to. Wow. Um, oh, the contract finished, by the way. You did it. You're welcome. Thank you. I was Do you really think I can get 101? Uh, no, I don't I don't think so. Okay. I think you just accept the cash and bring that plow on home. But yeah, we'll Lift see plow. we'll see uh what it's like. I don't know if I told you this part, but like dude, I was like casting the finals, right? I'm casting the finals. And they're like the game's about to end, and, like, I guess the, the uh, production realized it was about to end, and they wanted to talk about something in between. But, like, guys, when this game ends, we're going to touch on this. As I'm, like, casting the final game, makeup lady comes over and starts blotting my sweaty face and putting yeah. makeup on. So I, <laughs> I'm, like, listening to someone telling me what I'm going to say next. I'm casting the game, and I'm also getting makeup applied to my face all at the same time. It's really, really wild. Um, usually, you know, they wouldn't overwhelm us quite like that, but it did happen. Cool, man. Yeah, I was like, whoa, I'm like... You've made I it? I made it, yeah. Like, what is this? 
I'm hoping um, this year that there's not a lot of changes between how the production crews work, because I don't know if it's going to be the same one or not, because they hire, um, like, Red Bull's Red Bull, and they handle, uh, like, the streaming side and whatnot. But they work with a production crew, which does, like, all the microphones and cameras. And so I'm hoping it's not a lot of change in how they do Where can things. I um, watch this this thing? Well... It'll be on uh, Red Bulls, Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook. It'll also be on my Facebook. So you got you got four cool. options. All right, so we're gonna turn off the harvester. Why? Well, I gotta bring this to you. Oh, you're at a hundred? Yeah. I think it's easier for me to back up to you than it is. You're right. To back up to me. I feel ashamed though. I thought it was just gonna like. One of the thing every man needs to learn how to do is back up a trailer. <laughs> and I haven't done that. Okay. Oh, you gotta unfold that thing, probably. Yeah, I want to like try and get it on on the back of your thing though, just in case. Because we have bad experiences with having to pick them up off the ground, you know. Oh, I see. Like, lay it on top of the... Yeah, that's the that's the way to do it. It, it might be bad. Like, it might not be what we should... Do. Okay. Um, seems fine. All right, so we're going to fold the harvester. Okay, folding's not allowed. Um, you have two menu options, like through G? True. No. Uh, I have lift harvester... That's oh, the yeah. front. That's the front. We want to... I do have unload baler. Yep. <gasps> yep. Ow. Um, okay. Um. No. Uh -oh. No. 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 Get it. <laughs> no. Oh, that's a big bail. No. No. Ah. no. What do we do now? Oh, oh, I knew it wouldn't go smoothly. Come on, man. I thought I had it set. It pushed you back. Well, we can't pick it up. Even though it's cotton, you would think it'd be light. I guess it's a whole field's worth of cotton. Um, This doesn't have a grabby thing, does it? I wish I had a winch on the front of this thing. I... In my defense... Oh, that's what I had to do. I had to lower it. No! Okay, well, hold on, hold on. Stay just like that. I, I, I think we got this. So you got to straighten that thing out so it's dead on to that cotton. Okay? And I'm going to, like, smack it to you. But you gotta get straight on. You gotta be a little careful too, not to get into our canola. Here, hold on. I'll get out and I'll wave you with my hands. Really well done, actually. Keep backing up. See if it lets you go under. Ah, dude. Ah, there we go. Whoa. Yeah, you might want to lift it. Nice. Is there a strap? Um, that would make sense considering everything else had a strap. There is no strap. Do you have a way to lift up the back of it? Uh, no, but it's level. Okay, well, we do go up a big hill. <laughs> to get... That's oh, my concern. <laughs> it's slippy. No, it seems stuck. Okay, all right. I'm gonna try it. All right. Well, I'm just gonna finish this real quick, and then I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna keep tabs. Off he goes. That's our cash crop right here. Yeah. How much do you think we're gonna get? There's not multiple Dude. places, right? Because like, what if the market's really competitive? I just can't imagine this bale is gonna be worth the. I mean, look how cheap t-shirts are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but cotton's used in everything. 
Hard to believe this game doesn't have... I mean, this game has bugs. <laughs> right? <laughs> and we're not talking about the ones on our fields. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Eat fertile... Or in pesticide. <laughs> the, first, the first session I played this, um, I put pesticide on something instead of fertilizer. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I was spraying it all over. I, the thing about cotton, even if we don't get a lot of money, is it's really easy to do for us. Yeah. Which goes a long way. Also, it's, oh. it's pretty satisfying. The, the turning is just my favorite. All right, I am in parking lot waiting for you to tell me where the yellow square is. Okay, so I'm going to AI this one. Let's see. All right, yellow square. Whoa! Oh, hello! <laughs> okay, don't move, don't move. You have a very bald head. I want to see how I high... I thought I had going. a hat on. I think my hat got missing. <laughs> We're higher than the hot air balloons. How high does it let us do... Wait, 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 wait. You're on my head? I'm on your... I'm above you, yeah. No, no, no. I'm above you. What? Yeah, I'm looking at the top of your head. I see what looks like a joystick inside of your head. I think we... I'm scared it's going to, like, kick us out. We're above the hot air balloons. I, I know. How... How long do we stay like this? I don't know. But... I say we keep going. <laughs> let me just let me just save real quick. Okay, it's saving. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, apparently you can't save. I thought we hit a ceiling last time, but you must have moved. Uh, maybe it was just saving that did it. Well, okay. Do it again. All right. Well, hold on. I gotta get. Would you jump last time? How do we do that? Uh, you go tab E. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now I've got Don't. the Now I've got the under view. We have to see how high this yeah, goes. Yeah, just don't move. Oh, there the balloon. That balloon has no people in it. Oh, is it close to us? Oh yeah. Wait, how did you see it had no people in it? Your binoculars? It, it rendered. Yeah, it rendered. <gasps> oh. I didn't move. I mean, I turned around a little bit, but... Uh, no, I think maybe you just get lucky sometimes. Yeah, maybe. All right, well, we're here. Let's see. Yellow square, yellow square, yellow square. But, am I, like, on it? Do I have to go um, forward go, a little? Go forward another... Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, stop. That's fine. Now you can unload. Okay. That's on the square. You have a sell option? Oh, 45, 45 grand! Worth it! Let's go. All right, that's awesome. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm, I'm, I'm super happy with that. That was like way faster than any of the contracts we've ever done. Yeah. That's a great buy. Nothing but cotton, baby. Who All needs right. carrot? So I'm gonna, um, there's another bale apparently. Uh, and I'm going to work on that. And if you just want to come down here again, and then we can do the final, uh, yep. Final little, uh, mission or mission. Not, I'm, I'm used to those words for other games, <laughs> the final <laughs> delivery, the final quest. Now, how much was it to rent the vehicle? That's something we need to talk about. It was 20 grand. Okay. So we, we made 25 grand easy. That's not bad. I I want to say we we're at two thirty something. Two twenty six. I could be wrong. Oh wow! Apparently, if you grow potatoes, you can process them and the canola oil and make French fries. No. Yeah, but where do no, we sell? No, There's no. nowhere. No, we don't sell the French fries. Liars. <laughs> Wait. So could we, in theory? Plow this field, plant our next crop in it, and it's we don't have to wait all year for cotton. We could get like four different types of crops, 
from the same fields each year, right? Well, they they I think the problem is you'd harvest them at different times. Yeah, so you got to get like the the math down, I guess. You would almost have to separate them into what you could call fields. Hmm. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. <laughs> but, oh, here, dude, thirty three hundred dollars furniture. Let's grow some furniture. <laughs> so, so we have to get wood and then buy a furniture plant. And actually, I really like how you can buy certain processing plants. I'm really curious how the economics of that works. Because we never, ever see any other farmers. So, like, how would we ever make money? Would you sell them? Would you sell them to yourself? Maybe it's like, yeah, I don't know how that works. I'm guessing they make it so if you buy a plant where people deliver stuff, you have like passive income because in you know other people would deliver stuff but we never see other dude the clothes are twelve thousand dollars but we should have kept our cotton and just made shirts <laughs> all right you just you just start sewing up some shirts in the all house right so wood have. wood uh, good price for wood I, I don't know why we had such problems um does it say the type of wood? Because that was our theory. Yeah, cotton is definitely the most expensive. Everything else is... I mean, sunflowers aren't bad, believe it or not. Hmm. 1300 I like the idea of olives. I, I don't even think we're in an olive climate. Yeah, I wonder if that matters. Well, you got to look at the calendar, too, because the calendar will say... Oh, yeah. Because that's what um, we're ultimately going to want to look at. Because we need to look at how long it takes for certain things to grow. Well, yeah, you're right. Uh, cotton. Everything gets harvested now. Cotton, we could start in February. It's an early planter, February to March. Okay. I think it'd be cool um, with how much money. I mean... We'll, we'll eventually game plan once we deliver this bale, but uh, I really like the idea of um, doing, like, five cotton fields that, like, make it bank. You know, we can still plant two things right now. Yeah, what well, can we Grass. plant? Grass. Yeah. Oh, I take that back. A couple things. All right. Um, barley and wheat... We're nearing the end of planting season. They would still take all the way to summertime to harvest, so almost a full year. Okay. Wheat and barley. Also, um, oil seed radish, never heard of it. That one's interesting because you can plant and harvest any time of year. Plant, harvest, plant, harvest, plant, harvest. Hmm, okay. Well, I mean, it, what's funny is, you know, we have, we're working off of we do one day, we play one day a month, but we do real time, so it's only 8.30 a.m., so we've got, like, two more sessions in us, but we can do whatever we want, so we could easily start that field we just finished with the next uh, crop. We could do wheat or barley, which would take a long time to harvest, or we can see if we can buy seeds for oil seed radishes, which we could plant and then harvest sooner I'm guessing okay well I'm going to deliver the last where did you get seed here. at is there like a seed store mm, it, it's actually where you it's where we buy everything else that's where you okay. get seeds because I actually have leftover seeds I think for the, for the canola which has been sitting in our driveway oh man cotton bales are so much better than grass bales All right, 18,000 more. Good stuff. Wow, that was like, I don't want to say that was easy, but it was easy. And that was fun, too. I really enjoyed that job. Yeah, that was a good job.